What's going on? Thanks for checking in. Got some high school top prospects in the facility today. It's officially the off season, so we're going to be following along with these guys' progression all summer here at the Summers Method Performance Center. Today, we have a lower body eccentric strength workout. This is one you're not going to want to miss. Make sure you stay tuned. Check this one out. All right, hey, for the primer, we have med ball 40. So what that is, is go ahead, partner up and grab a heavy med ball. So by heavy, I mean anything over 20 pounds. Hey, so what this is, is you're gonna hug this med ball close to your chest, and you're gonna do pogos through the ankles. So pogos, 10 pogos, then you're gonna go for height, 10, then you're gonna drop it, hands on the hips, through the ankles for 10, and then for height, 10. So it's repetitive, 40 total jumps, okay? But low amplitude, through the ankle, for height, Drop it through the ankle, then for height. So first man up, go ahead and hit it. We're just gonna go one set there. Good? Yeah. We're doing the same exact thing now, but split stance. So hugging the med ball, split stance, through the ankle for height. So it'll be five each side, 10 total. Through the ankle for height, drop it, through the ankle for height. Hey, but get up a little, don't just go quick. Like pop, pop, pop. balls back grab a drink then meet me on the turf hey check it out we have these blue balls here we're gonna do a v cone complex focusing on deceleration phase one of training all right kick off the summer we got to learn how to stop before we can go so we're gonna try to get as high as we can and stick it to each cone high as we can stick it stick it stick it see if i can do it high as we can stick it stick Stick, bulletproof right there. Hit it, take your time, stick, St yep. Don't rely on momentum here. Hold it for two seconds. Good, hey, get that cone bro, come on, get that cone. There it is. Hey, grab a drink, I'm gonna put the cones back, then we got some more power. All right, gentlemen, we're working on a slow stretch shortening cycle today. Think about when you hit, when you throw, it's a slow load and go, a slow load and go. So that's exactly what we're mimicking here when we're doing these lateral jumps. So the first one, we're gonna be drive leg up. You're gonna throw the chest down and load into this hip get out and rotate. So you're gonna go here, load, and go out and stick it. Then you're gonna do the other side. So you're loading, getting out and sticking it. Trying to get down as far as you can, just go to that far cone. Check it out. So we're gonna do a fast switch, try to stick it, gather nice and slow, and explode out from the top. So we're gonna start with the inside leg up. We're gonna catch ourselves and go out and rotate. So it's here, catch it, and get out. So break that momentum up. Try to break that momentum, break that momentum up.
Try not to be reactive. Try to pause for a second. There it is, Mace. Pause for a split second, stop that momentum. Good, try to break it. Watch Maze here, watch Maze on this. So he'll pause and go. Right, so with that pause, what we're doing is breaking down the stretch shortening cycle. Early on in a program, that's what you wanna do. So the body works on adaptation, kinda like a blind person. So blind people, relatively good at hearing because their hearing has to pick up the aid in survival. The same mechanism goes for the stretch shortening cycle. If we break out a portion of that and train that component directly, when we put the whole stretch shortening cycle together, do more reactive based stuff later on in a program, it's just all gonna work a whole lot better. So that's what we're doing now. We're breaking up the stretch shortening cycle, building up that weak portion, so later on they're able to be more reactive and produce more power. We're going five sets of five reps, slow eccentric, full range of motion squats. The biggest thing is staying disciplined with that five seconds on the way down. Doesn't really matter about the weight. What we're supersetting the back three sets with is going to be a glute bridge single leg hold. So Maze, if you wanna pop down real quick, demonstrate. So we're gonna go glute bridge. We're gonna go opposite elbow to opposite knee and hold that, hold it, hold it, hold it, hips high. We're gonna go 10 deep breaths in this position on each side. So you're gonna do three sets of that paired with the five by five full range of motion squat. Take our time through this, no need to be a hero. Write down your weights every set. Everything, if you notice, when we did the split squats, we did like an extension exercise. So this is just to lock you back in before your next set, because that's a lot of stress, like axial loading, that much weight. So this is just kind of resetting the pelvis and you're getting a little core too in there. Yeah! That's good. Can you think you can hit a 40 inch vert now? Since you dropped down a little bit of weight. What'd you hit last year, 38? And you were like 30 pounds heavier? Picture him, how jacked he is, 30 pounds heavier. Look like Saquon Barkley, dude. Hey, three piece exercise cluster. First, we're going Bosu ball, hammy, slow eccentric. Throw one leg up on it. From here, other leg's gonna go in the air. You're gonna go hips high. You're gonna curl and then lower. Three, two, one, curl. Hips high the whole time. Three, two, one, curl. Good, so we got eight each leg there, lowering on a three count. Then we'll clean up everybody's crap off the reverse hypers. Those aren't tables, those are reverse hypers. So we'll go ahead and hit eight of those, lightweight, we just want good technique. I'll show you guys how to do that the right way. What you're gonna do is you're almost gonna think of rowing into it. So you can gain a little bit of momentum, but go ahead, swing your legs up, and then row into it, good. Like you're doing a lat pull down or a heavy row. Try to keep the chin neutral, so pick a target, like look at Colgate flag if you're on this one, because you don't want the neck moving around when you do this. Good, and then just try to lower it slow but it'll swing, you don't wanna stop it. Then we're gonna go reverse X-band walk on the turf. So Eddie, you can be my partner again. How we're gonna hit this is opposite elbow. So you're gonna go like this. Bop, bop. And then opposites. Partner's gonna go ahead and make an X. Eddie's gonna keep that big chest, elbows back. He's gonna sit back like a defensive back and he's gonna creep backwards. And I'm gonna walk with him, actively pulling to each side. The idea is anti-rotation, so stop the rotation. Keep walking, 
He's trying to fight back the midline the whole time when your partner's doing this. So you have to stop that trunk from pulling and you're gonna get some good VMO. Hey, that's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in. Listen, if you want to use the same training modalities that I use with these elite players in here, make sure you check the link in the description below. I have several baseball and softball programs available for you. And always remember that I pump out two of these videos per week. So do me a favor and subscribe for me. I appreciate you. We'll catch you next week. Game rewards the grind. It knows how much you've invested.